Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we are blasting Washington State's Cerebral Rot and their new EP, Spewing Purulence, on Parasitic Records. Sadly, this is sold out on cassette, but the 7-inch is in the works. As this is seriously the best Cerebral Rot material so far. And also some of the most disgusting <laughs> lyrical content Cerebral Rot has ever written hails to Ian Schwab, who I'm pretty sure wrote this bad boy, but like, the dude loves singing about feces, and he has just some of like, the nastiest fucking ways of describing like, feces and whatnot, and it's just fucking awesome. It's one of the reasons why you gotta love Cerebral Rot. Like, vile yolk, contagious dis disease, spoilant ejacula, mutated feces. Like, fuck yeah. Imagine, like, taking a dump and having it mutate into some sentient fucking, like, shit demon from, like, dogma. I think that's what Cerebral Rot was going for, and it's fucking sick. Puss gargling death metal desecration. And speaking of fucking death metal desecration from Washington State, Neuroth, it dwells amongst us. And there's something really fucking sick about crusty death metal when it's done right and... Naroth absolutely do it so fucking well. Heavy, heavy, early bolt thrower vibes. Hell, this sounds like Goat Lord at certain times. Rip a Kaloo, Winter, Cyanide. It is awesome. And Naroth is a trio. And these three are fucking sick. Sick fucking death metal from Seattle, Washington. Shadow, my patriarch. Ironclad, primitive intent. Cerberus, mount of misery. Extinction, prisoner of splendor. Blistering eyes, it dwells amongst us. And vengeful tribulation. And here's something neat about Naroth. And if this turns you off, then you're watching the wrong channel. See that symbol? Pro-feminist, animal-friendly, anti-fascist. I actually had to delete somebody off my Facebook because I told them before, yo, I can't be friends with you if you're gonna be posting this stuff like I'm not cool with it and this shit that was posted today I don't need to see Muslims being called pigs so yeah like it's that's I don't want that I don't want to see that stuff on my feed so I'm sorry but like I don't know it is what it is I think Part of the title has more to do with the death metal and extreme music scene than anything else, but I might be reading a little bit too into it, but it dwells amongst us. I kind of look at it as, you know, racism and whatnot dwells amongst the extreme metal scene, and it's obviously fucking true. Uh, like, I had to look up. This is how out of the fucking loop I am personally. Like, I'm dead serious. Somebody called me a snowflake. And I'm like, okay. Like, I don't know what a snowflake is. So, I look it up and I'm like, really? Whatever. Like, I, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, as long as I'm not a hate monger. I'd rather be called that than be called a fucking hate monger, obviously, but, you know, it is what it is, and 
I feel like certain people, like, they get a pass with, you know, sketchy shit, and they shouldn't. Like, there's certain artists out there that's... I'm not talking about Annie Kreis Kramer, either. There's a couple artists out there that currently get a lot of work, where at the end of the day, it's sketchy as fuck. All you gotta do is follow the person on Instagram, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Because if you're wearing an Operation Werewolf t-shirt... Just look it up on Google, Operation Werewolf, and see where it comes from. And then, you know, somebody that might be one of your favorite artists is, like, wearing this with pride and even has a fucking tattoo of this branch of Nazism on their arm. And it's like, fuck. Why would they... Ugh. And this goes to a different subject. And I'm sorry, Naroth. Like, seriously. I'm gonna... Real quick. I want to talk about how sick this is. And then I want to get into something for one minute. Seriously. But Naroth with It Dwells Amongst Us. Seriously. If you dig In Battle There Is No Law Error Bolt Thrower. And if you enjoy bands that, you know, have that knuckle-dragging death feel, like Asphalix, Vastum, even like Necrot, you're gonna fucking love Naroth, and it dwells amongst us. This is so fucking good when it comes to crusty death metal. It kind of, it's not as, like, melodic as something like Tragedy, and I'm glad because, you know... I really don't like melodic death metal anymore. Like, I feel like that was me in 2003, maybe, earlier as well. But, death metal's meant to be fucking heavy and nasty, and I really feel like Naroth, like, they have these kind of crusty punk ethics and they bring it forth in death metal form here on It Dwells Amongst Us. And it's fucking great. And Caligari just did an amazing job cosmetically. Sound-wise, these eight tracks are fucking badass. And I really, really enjoy this band. And this is a mini-release. I thought it was a full length, but I guess they're calling it a mini LP. It is eight tracks, but it's pretty quick, and it's right to the fucking point, and it sounds great in my opinion. Like, Naroth is fucking sick. And the artwork as well by Adam Kindred. Yo, look at this fucking thing. Kind of reminded me of, like, something, like, Amoebix would, like, do. And that, again, it puts a smile on my face. It's like, yo, fuck yeah. And the logo, too. Like, how sick is that logo? Like, when I got the sticker, I, I cut the logo out of the sticker and actually had to use the J card to see which direction it went. Because it it's one of those logos that legit looks like... I fucking sneezed on a tissue, which are the best types of logos. The ones that you just can't read, and it's fucking great. But on the side, that's very easy to read, that it says, No Roth, it dwells amongst us. And hails to Caligari Records for, you know, showing that they're in the, you know, proper corner of extreme metal. Where some other labels, they do some stuff where it's like... Ew, like, like... I honestly can no longer trust a label like Profound Lore Records. After that Old Tower incident, like... I, I can't. Like, seriously. And then, like, I look more into it and I see more instances of sketchy shit going down. Like, not even just talking about Dizma. Because that's an obvious, you know, like... There's nothing sketchy at all about Dizma towards the Megalith. 
lyrically or anything like that. But Craig is a total shithead. To where they were going to play a certain festival and around 13 bands, I think it was, were like, if they play, we're out of here. Which led to a bunch of people in the band being like, yo, Craig, see ya! And I don't even know what Dizma's up to right now, but they fucked up. And they fucked up because Craig had these shitty racist beliefs that got the band's name drug through mud. And, you know, a lot of people, they don't give a fuck, and it is what it is. I don't care. Listen to what you want to listen to, but if you're friends with me on Facebook and shit, I don't need to see that you're listening to Goat Moon or some bullshit. I'm sorry. It's just, like, uh, I'm actually friends with you, and that's, I, I didn't know you liked that stuff. But, again, listen to what you want to listen to, but... Sometimes I feel like it's best to just keep it to yourself. And I'm not trying to be judgmental. But I am trying to really get you folks turned on to It Dwells Amongst Us by Naroth. This is some killer, killer, crusty death metal. It's doomy, it's heavy, and I fucking love this shit. Naroth hailing from Seattle, Washington. Awesome, awesome stuff. But the artist I'm talking about, he uses certain symbols sometimes where they come from the Third Reich. But originally, I know, they were fucking Nordic and, you know, ancient symbols that meant something else, etc., etc. But if you're fucking repping Operation Werewolf, Again, just look it up on Google. It's not cool. And then when some of your artwork incorporates sketchy shit like this, it even more turns me off. Because I was like, uh, like maybe it's just on the cover. and Or maybe, you know, they just love Diocletian and don't know what this means. But... No, they definitely know exactly what that fucking means. And, yeah, not fucking cool. And even here, I was like, oh, like, yeah, I don't see, oh, there it is. Fuck. And there's a lot of this person's artwork out there that it, it's fucking sketchy. It is. Yeah, he draws a good monster, but, like, fuck, man. Sometimes it's just, like, I just, it's not for me, and I just, like, a buddy of mine put that out, and the band is doing nothing to help promote it, and he even said, he's like, he's like, you don't need to review it, like, if you don't like the cover art and whatnot, and I really don't like the cover art, but it is what it is. That's why bands like Naroth are definitely important to have, not only in your local scene, like, this isn't a band, like, they're not gonna go shut down your fucking local black metal show unless it deserves to be shut down. Like, there's certain shows that legit, it's like, dude, that's not gonna happen. Like, dude, like, first off, like, do you really want that shit around? For real? But then there's other times where it's like, whoa, but he played guitar and blah, blah, blah. 30 years ago, and it's like, well, that was 30 years ago. Like, look at Infester. I'm not gonna go into it, but just look at Infester. Infester's, like, as popular as they ever were. But if you go back and look at the early pressings of To the Depths and Degregation, there's some sketchy, sketchy shit going on in the background. And really quick... They apologized for that. And Infester, you know, they're one of those bands. They were teenagers. And they were just going for the opposite of what was going on in death metal back in, like, 1993. They wanted an organic sound, and they fucking got it. This is one of the nastiest death metal releases ever. 
But in this promo photo, you might see this circle right here. It looks a little bit out of place. Supposedly, there used to be a swastika located there. And there's some lyrics in here as well where it's like, yikes. But lastly, unlike what some have speculated, Infester was never a racist or national socialist band. At most, we didn't take some of our lyrics and imagery too seriously, and it showed our immaturity. I hope the focus will stay on the music as I am very proud of the atmosphere we achieved with the songs Into the Depths, and it's an honor to see how it continued to receive recognition many years after its release. And Dario Dernia wrote that. So, like, you know, he fucking means it. But then you read the lyrics to Braid It in the Palsy, and you see exactly what he's talking about. Now, these are not my words. This is Infester, Braid It in the Palsy. Licking and taunting naked flesh, repulsive ebony skin. Now destroy this bastard, sword to the neck, cast in blood, fingering the feces from the anus braided into palsy. So, they apologized in a nice paragraph saying, Yeah, we fucked up. We were little kids. I'm sorry. So, you know... I legitimately accept that apology, and you can call me a hypocrite or whatever, but these were legit little fucking kids, and it is what it is. It's one of those classic death metal releases that's just a classic. It's pus-gargling death metal from the same area as Naroth and Cerebral Rot. And a million other fucking sick bands. But I don't think Naroth is probably too stoked on Infester, even though they have an apology and everything, considering, you know, they're definitely heavy into the scene and definitely racism stinks in every single form it can possibly be in. But when it comes to kick ass, crusty death metal, you can't go wrong with It Dwells Amongst Us by Naroth. Eight tracks of just brutal, crushing, knuckle-dragging, fucking death metal. Again, if you're a fan of Cyanide, Early Bolt Thrower, Ripakaloo, you're gonna fucking dig the fuck out of Naroth. Eight tracks of death metal madness on Caligari Records. Nice hard shell. Everything about this is fucking sick. And again, Naroth is pro-feminist, animal-friendly, and anti-fascist. So, definitely, definitely heavy hails and support to Naroth. And Caligari Records for being on fucking fire this year. Holy shit. This is Caligari right now. Fire. Everything they've put out has just been fucking amazing. And Naroth, It Dwells Amongst Us, is no different. But we were blasting the new Cerebral Rot spewing purulence. So fucking good. 7-inch is coming, so don't go spending $50 on Discogs for a two-song cassette tape. Just keep your eyes and ears open for the 7-inch announcement, or maybe even a second cassette pressing. I don't know. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails to Naroth for sending me a copy of this bad boy, and hails to Caligari for fucking, you know, helping a band out and helping them promote their cause to the point where it's part of the cosmetics. Like, fuck yeah. 
And you maniacs at home, thanks for watching as well, you fucking rule. Who's? <laughs>